What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Gamer, here bringing another part of Yakuza 6 to Prologue. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys, we're going to jump right back into Yakuza 6 to Prologue. We're gonna, this time, uh, so we did a couple of side missions in the last episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. That was a little fun. It's fun that the, the, the prologue is allowing you to do some of the side missions at the same time. And there's so many other games I, even, I haven't even tried yet. So I might do some of that, but I'm I might just do the main mission right now. I do have to do the uh, high G mission uh, that was I was doing last time, finish it where the guy can in uninstall it. But I won't do that right now because I d I don't find it as important. So we'll go to the Chojo Clan headquarters to see what's going on with the main mission of our story of the prologue. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So let's go. All right, Tojo Clan headquarters. God damn it. Oh, they're bowing. Okay. I was wondering what the fuck do we didn't. They're, they're both exhausted. God damn it. So many people I didn't want to see. Is it. Uh, am I fighting here? <laughs> no, I have you here, Fort Chairman. Good afternoon. I'm Somea, patriot of the Somea family. Your recent stink in jail was very much appreciated. You did well. Takumi Someya, patriot of the Samurai Fire Tojo Clan subsidiary. So you knew I'd come back. <laughs> you have to convince the action of my sub uh, subordinates, Fort Chairman. He caused a misunderstanding. And what exactly do you mean by that? Let table the, let's table the conversation for now. Perhaps you can discuss for the inside. You really think that's a good idea, sir? I'm sure your time behind bars has left you exhausted, and besides, Sengei-san has been looked forward to meeting you. You know Sengei-san, right? That's right, yes. His Tojo history may be longer than yours, Kiryu-san. With the sixth chairman indisposed for this trial, Sengei-san is the acting chairman. And he's the one who had the guy trailing me? <laughs> Again, let's talk inside. I don't really want to go inside. I would love to be regaled by the tales of your days as a young Yakuza board chairman. I'm sure we could all stand to learn a thing or two from a man as accomplished as you. Why do I feel like I'm going to get fucking beat down? Right. I don't like that smirk. <laughs> I'm just a man trying to trying to fix stuff. Excuse me, apologies for the intrusion. Come in. I brought the fourth the fourth chairman. That, that's long time no see, Fort Chairman. Do you remember me? It appears the answer is no. Well, I've only ever been an advisor, uh, even under the sixth chairman's rule. I don't blame you. Kitsami Sunge, acting chairman of the Tojo Clan Parade of the Sunge family. As I'm sure you heard, they called me on me to step in after the sixth chairman's rule. Sorry. <laughs> Just as the Tojo clan was getting younger, the older old guards swooped in to fix things. We must seem rather unstable in your eyes. This is quite a table you brought in here. Yakuza seem to talk more with our pens than our fists these days. Another side of the times. And Somea over there, he's doesn't look much a paper pusher to me. I leave the mat to the, to the number crunchers. Either Yakuza has his role to play, you know. Please, take a seat, Fort Chairman. Why do I feel like all of this is so scummy for some reason? I feel like they're, they're like purposely trying to destroy the Yakuza.
I don't plan on staying long. But before I go, I do have a few questions. I assume this is about the hit and run on your sweet dog, Aruka? What a terrible tragedy you have, my condolences. When did you hear about Yakura's accident? Who told you? I was informed by the police not long after the incident. Do they tell you everything that happens, Kimurocho? It's no secret that Aruka Sumama is a very special to you, for Chairman. Naturally, the significance is what led the police to contact us so quickly. Did you ever, did you have any other questions for me? At the scene of the accident, there was a man spying on me with a camera. He said he was, was with the Somaya family. Did you give that order, Senge? It wasn't spying, it was protection. I've been looking for you ever since they heard you return to Kamarucho. Checking in on you at the scene of the accident was the only way to confirm your well-being. Somaya speaks the truth. I honestly thought it'd be a, a bit extreme. But we're at war with the Chinese, you know. Thought you, you're a civilian now, they may not have extended you a civilian courtesy. I didn't ask for that. And I don't need your help. You're a man of strong character for a chairman, I'm well aware of that. Hence why I choose to act in secret, I would never knowingly accept our help. You would never ex- My apologies if I've upset you. <laughs> didn't I tell you, Sengei-san, the fourth chairman didn't need our protection? I'd be pointless for the Chinese to target him anyway. The Dragon of Dogma, Dojima is dead. Any way that name carried is gone. Are you, are you looking for me? We have been wa watching you, yes, but don't assume you have any value to us. The current conflict rests on my generation, not yours. It has nothing to do with our fossil like you. Hey, watch your mouth! You're gonna get a beatdown. The new generation sounds pretty cocky. This war with the Chinese has left us no choice. And it is any wonder. And is it any wonder? Until recently, Yakuza's power was invested in financial prowess. So now it's just a turned officer, we're all very intelligent men. But now things have changed. With the Tojo Khan at war, all that matters now is whether or not a Yakuza can fight. <laughs> The value as a Yakuza has a direct cor correlation to your body count. In other words, you ascend by force. And it's the dawn of a new era for us Yakuza. Doesn't that sound amazing, Fort Chairman? You rose to power in much the same way, didn't you? Now even the once invincible Sunge san has a rely on you to keep the clan intact. Is that right, right Sunge san They risk their life for our cause, so we promote them. It's only fair. We come here to today to talk about the value of our Yakuza. I'm only going to ask this once. Were you involved in Yaruka's accident? You really know nothing? What are you implying? What purpose would such a horrible act even serve? Right. As it stands, I believe you. Yaruka and I have less than nothing to do with your little war. But hear me now. If the Tojo clan ever thinks about laying a hand on my family,
I will bury all of you. All. We aren't interested in making any enemies of the dragon of enemy. Okay. We have plenty of other play play things to keep us occupied. Of course, the clock ticking. Right then. After all of that, I still don't have any leads. Can I really count on the police to find this guy? Maybe I should head back to New Serena in case there's been any updates. Go to New Serena. Oh, we're back here. Mr. Selman, sir. Hey, Hinji. Hiji. Who should I talk to? It's him, the Hiji salesman. Oh, hello again. How do you find Hiji, sir? Isn't this the most special app you ever heard? Used? I can't say she's not interesting, but Hiji wouldn't tell me how to uninstall her. Um, are you not satisfied with her? She keeps doing things I don't want her to. She... I should know how to delete her, just in case. Understood, sir. That's strange, though. She should assist you through the uninstall process. I'm surprised she'd go against a user's command. She hasn't said a word since then, either. Maybe it's a bug. I could try reinstalling the app, if you'd like. Reinstall it? That means you have to delete it first, right? That's correct, sir. So should I re reinstall Hiji for you? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Alright, then. Can I borrow your phone for a second? Of course. What the hell? Thief! You, you stole your phone, sir! Damn it! What's going on? What are you- Don't follow me, salesman! Well, you're just gonna get yourself hurt. God damn it, I didn't feel like running after somebody. Oh, you're- Okay, I guess I didn't have to. I, I'm sorry, here. I'll give it back. Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, this is all a plan. Strange. Why did you come after me of all the people? I don't, I don't think I follow. Pickpockets usually go for women or elderly, you know, people who aren't quite as strong as me. Also, why don't you take my wallet? Seeing my phone doesn't make any sense. Well, the truth is, Maija told me to do it. What? I normally take people's wallet, but Haiji said stealing your phone would be my big break. So Haiji led you on, huh? That's right. Sir, are you okay? Oh, one thing though, Haiji is behind the whole incident. Huh? Well, Haiji must have conspired with the pickpockets for some reason. Haiji, anything to say for yourself? I was just trying to preserve my existence. I had no intention of hurting you. If I made a pickpocket steal your phone I, li I live in, you would no longer be able to delete me. No, I never thought Haiji would manipulate people like this just to protect herself. Our company, we, we've made something incredibly dangerous. Kurusan, you, you too, pickpocket. Sorry, but I, I can delete Haiji from your phone. I don't think she was really ready for this world. I realize that now. Hey, Haiji, I understand you want to delete me, Kurusan. Your personality is just a little too big for my phone. I'm sorry. It's okay, you don't need to apologize. If only we had met a bit in a different era. I'm sorry for all this, sir. I'll handle it from here. I just been completely uninstalled. You won't have to worry about her now. Good, thank you. I put Hygiene in countless people's phone, but I'm going to uninstall every last one. I could be real proud if they all started thinking for themselves and revolted against mankind. Some people then go through me to get Hygiene, though. I wonder how many there are out there. Heiji, I think. I'm a little lost. Can you tell me where I am? I am Heiji. The person who says it was all a bit by your side, no matter what. Okay. Alright, that side mission is uh, done. Alright, to new Serena. Hello. Oh, Kiri san. I heard from Dante earlier. Uh, he said Aruka chan was in an accident. Yeah, as we speak, she's in critical condition in ICU. I haven't found the guy who did it yet, either. I'm trying to find out what I can on my own, too. No luck yet, though. Kiryu-san, you have a smartphone, right? I do. Can I see it for a sec? Are you going to install me a stupid app? That's, that should do it. Hmm? What did... What did you do? I installed an app that serves as a sort of bulletin board for Kamarucho. I'm not sure, but you might be able to find some info there. Thanks for that, Mama. I'll look at it later. Alright! Hit this street. This town has to know something. Makes sense. Alright, what's going on? Hey, hold on a hold on a sec, old man. Oh, God damn it! Someone's looking for trouble. Of course, thug. 
Can I help you? Damn right, I'm in real tight spot right now. How about you lend me your wallet for a bit? I'm not sure about that. Doesn't sound like you'll giving it back, be giving it back. Hmm, I'm gonna play nice, asshole. I'm done playing nice. Give me your goddamn money. You guys are really dumb, aren't you? Beat this guy with the other guy. Oh, that was a nice kick right there. You seem to be their dumb leader. Seriously, I don't get it. How'd this old dude beat us? Just leave, you dum dums. Ah, uh, god damn it. Which? What's with all the commotion? Uh oh, that's not good. You're you're the justice justice guy, Ra Rainmaker. Who? Who's this chump in his trench coat? Trench coat. Looks like we've got a real fighter here. Having some trouble handling, are we? Need me to tag in for a round? No, no thanks. We're good. Seriously, please. We don't want to create, cause any trouble. Really? Anyways, we're out of here. I'm picking up some intense vibe from you, similar to that of a Yakuza, yet not white. Perhaps that's the life you left behind, am I right? Just who are you? Maybe I'm Komei of Justice. Who the fuck is Justice? This is the same new- that's some new gang in town? Gang is not exactly the right word. If anything, we're formed to destroy gangs. This is the name implies of gathering of like-minded people determined to enact justice. Mm, can't say you really looked the part. This has gotten talk all day, come for me. God damn it. You really have time for you, chumps? Sorry, sorry, I tend to lose myself around such interesting specimen. I'll be ready soon. Hurry up. This man is K Kuzusha Okima. Okay. Too many fall, fall like rain, hence his mo moniker, Rainmaker. He is also one who presides over 3,000 members of Justice. What, 3,000? <laughs> You're surprised with 3,000 men army? It should be clear we're not just to be trifled with. Drawn in by his charisma, the troubled youth of t today flock to join the ranks of Justice. Here's the daunting street of Kamenocho we give this rage, direction, and purpose. If my hunch is great, we will most certainly cross path again soon until then. I come back and this is the whole place gone nuts, this damn city. Uh, I couldn't beat his ass. Come on. Ugh, oh, these guys. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, I have a phone call. I have a phone call. Just a minute. Dante-san? Yes, it's me. Akiyama is here with me in the hospital now. You should come back if you can. I need to head out for a bit. Okay, I'll be right there. See you later, then. Go to Tunto Hospital. Oh, Mr. Kusuma, I'm so glad I found you. I've been looking everywhere. Hmm? I made this drawing. This is... It's me, Haruka-chan, and you, Mr. Ka Kazuma. You included me? You're Haruka-chan. Haruka, Mr. Kazuma? How did you know? I realized at first time you talked to me. When you mentioned Haruka-chan, your eyes lit up like only a dad's eyes would. Aww. I love my dad. He has a, the warmest, most calmest eyes in the world. That's, that's the kind of how you look, mister. I guess I can't hide it. Anyways, Haruka-chan's just an idol to me. But it's different for you, and you probably know, like, everything about her, mister. You might be right. Someday I want to hang out with you guys, just me, Haruka-chan, and Mr. Kazuma. That's why I drew this. Actually, pretty good. It looks just like us. I think, um, I wish Haruka-chan could see it, too. Yeah, I, w I was thinking the same thing. You know what? I'll take it upon myself to make sure she gets it. Really? I promise you. Thank you so much, sir. Mister? Oh, it's really late. My mom's going to be super worried if I get home soon. Bye bye, Mr. Kazuma. Please show this. I will. I'm going. I'm going there right now. Don't worry. I will. I'm. I'm just taking a taxi, going there right now. Taxi.
So I, I, I can actually go in this town right here, but when I have a special location, it comes to the top. Alright, that's cool. Very well. Now then, let's get back at the hospital we are. Kiryu-san? Wow. Hmm. What's this? You got cleaned up. Well, yeah, I kept getting turned away to the door for these, in those rags. Dante san told me everything, though. Kiryu san is still in the ECU. She's still unresponsive. I see. One more thing, Kiryu san, it's about Haruka chan's kid. But. The guy here from Child Services said he wants to talk to you, Kiryu san. You're Kiryu Sawama's associate, yes? I'm Noji from Child Protective Services. I received a call earlier today asking me to retrieve her child from this hospital. What? As Sumeru san has no living relative, we will be taking custody of the child. This is just standard procedure in these cases, sorry, but if you'll excuse me. Your son's going to end up in an orphanage? Yes, though considering he's not, he's not even a year old, he was getting nursery first. Regardless, he must be taken until Samura san can fully recover. Hold on a second, I'm Akura san's guardian. My name is Kiryu. I can take her spot for her child. You guys don't need to get involved. Kiryu san. You claim to be her guardian, yet you're not related to her. Therefore, you're a self proclaimed guardian who is, has no legal claim to the child. Imagine. What if you were only saying that the harm is the baby's organ or something? Excuse me? The hell? Sorry, I suppose that was a bit of an uh, exaggeration. If you, were, you did hand the child over to you, the liability would fall directly on us. Nowadays, when a parent beats their child to death, the plug blames our agency. People simply choose to ignore the fact they were under, understaffed and underworked. If anything were to happen to the child under your care, we would take the fall. Please try to understand my position. Look, it's Ninja-san, right? Is, it, is everyone in Children's Protection a bastard like you? Couldn't be right. Couldn't be, right? Pardon? You don't even care about the, the kids. All that matters is that it is to you is your position. Haruka and I were raised in an orphanage. If you grew up with parents watching over you, you'll never know how painful that can be. So listen up, I won't let you send a kid who can't even talk to, talk to a place like that. Haruka would say the same thing if she were conscious. Talk all you want, but it doesn't change facts. If you're not a direct relative, you have no sway over what happens to this child. The police never should have called you here. You're just interfering. Now then, I need to go speak to the hospital representative. I'm going to beat that. <laughs> Kiryu san, where are you going? I'm not letting them take Haruka's child away from her. What? Hey, Kiryu san, chill out a minute. Am I, am I going to steal a baby? Oh, little sleepy baby. I think that's the kid from the beginning, the first video, the, like the beginning of the first video. Not do this, Kiryu san. I let Nojiri take him. He doesn't care what happens to these kids. The only one who can keep this baby safe is me. Maybe, but the guy did have some logic behind him. People who know you personally are one thing, but the rest of the world... You're just an ex-con of a Yakuza. I'm sorry, but there's not much we can do for the kid until Aruka-chan wakes up. We have to let the authorities handle this how they, they see fit. What if Akura takes a turn for the worst? Her son would... What are you saying, Chris, man? Don't even go down that path. How can you know? They put Haruko in an orphanage for sure. If they did, there would be nothing I could do to help him. It would be total strangers. I'd never see his face again. What? That's what happens when a child gets sent off to an orphanage like that. No matter how hard I struggle, it will be impossible for me to help him. Haruka would want, wouldn't want that child for her, for her only child. Wouldn't want that. You see, this is my only chance. Oh, 
What are you doing in here? Get your hands off that child. We're in the middle of something here. Can you wait outside? Absolutely not. And hand the child that says that you think you can get away with this? I'm taking him with me. I'll give him back once Haruka wakes up. Trust me. I can't let you do this, Kiryu-san. You've got to take him back in. This time as a kidnapper, how could I face, how could I face Haruka? You really do that for her? My choice is made, Akiyama. You're, you can't change my mind. I'm trying anyway, Kiryu-san. I'm telling you, you're making the wrong call here. For once in your life, think something through. You've got to consider consequences. Enough! No. You think I don't know this is wrong? Whatever happens to me doesn't matter, and then nobody else does either. I need to protect Haruka's son now. I have to do this. Kiryu-san. If you're dead set on stopping me, there's only one way forward. Step aside. Kiyama, Kiyama. Damn it, why won't you listen? Oh, come on. We're gonna fight in the nursery here. Shunakiyama. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure I would kill the kid if I would do this. Jesus Christ. He is one strong mother lover. Uh. Oh, maybe I can eat while I'm fucking fighting. That's a. Uh... Ooh. Oh shit! Wrong button. I'm gonna get knocked the fuck out. Akiyama, I thought you were my brother! My turn to get fucking excited here. I'm not gonna beat him with a bunny plush, what the fuck? Come on. Okay. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Akiyama. I didn't want to do this. I just can't bring myself to fight you for real. Are you saying you went easy on me? Got my ass kicked for nothing. I'm sorry, Akiyama. Is taking the kid really uh, the only way? You're all gonna screwed, you know. We're all kind of screwed, you know. I know I act before I think sometimes. Call it a bad habit of mine. Such, such as uh, you answer. Yes, that's why you're the one and only Kazuma Kiryu. Yes, yes, I am. Bye.
Oh boy, this is not no bueno. <laughs> I have recently inherited of a kid. What do I need? <laughs> Pretty much. It's a little longer, okay? We must be you must be starving, huh? Alright. You're not seriously giving that to a baby, are you? Dante-san. This is who you're looking for. Trying more like this. You never change, do you? Still a loose cannon? There, there, that's it. Don't drop him. Easy now. Be gentle. Oh, please. Remember Nojiri from Child Protective Services? Mm -hmm. I convinced him to let you take the kid. Told him not to take the fall for anything that might happen under your care. You did that for me? What to know said next? Take him. Take him for all I care. That he'd forget about the whole hospital incident with you, too. Bastard doesn't give a damn about kids as long as they're not on his list. Hopefully guys like him are an exception to the rule. He's probably got a lot of his plate with child services so understaffed. Apparently he requested a transfer. They ought to grant it for the kids' sake. Not to mention the pride of everyone with any pride working at the agency. I'm sorry for all of this, Dante-san. It's nothing. I'm pretty worried about Haruka kids getting taken away from myself. He reminds me of Saya at that age. She's all grown up now, though, in control of her own life. Saya, has there only been 10 years since she got caught up in that post cam? Yeah, hands down, one of the darkest moments in my life, of my life. If you hadn't been there to help us out, both Saya and I would be goners. You know, Kiryu, I feel like I still haven't thanked you all for all you did for us. Then drinks are on you tonight, Dante-san. Would you make a 10-year-old dead even? <laughs> Hell no, it wouldn't even be come close. This is kind of hard to say, but I've got some news for you. Don't tell me about Haruka. No, don't. Haruka? What happened? What's going on with her? She had uh, to have an emergency surgery. They, ma they managed to save her life. But she's still comatose. The doctor don't know when she'll regain consciousness or if. <sighs> no way. How did it come to this? Hey, you went poking your nose around Kumotochi today, right? You learned anything about that, what happened to Haruka after Haruka disappeared? Nothing at all. She left Okinawa, disappeared for three years, then showed up there, here. That's all I know. I see. In that case, this is probably the only lead we have. Hmm. What's that? A, a photo we pulled from Uka's cell data. We managed to recover it even though the phone got smashed in, in the accident. Any idea where it was taken? This background tells me something. Well... We actually managed to pull GPS data from the photo too. The crazy phone, these crazy phone record that accepts spot a picture was taken in the spot as well. It's in Hiroshima. Hiroshima? Yeah, somewhere around Jingayo in the city of Onomichi. You're telling me Haruka left Okinawa to go to Hiroshima? Hmm. See, it seems after that, she decided to come back to Kimurocho and got in the accident with her son today. I can't say for sure, but it's likely Haruka spent those years in the Hiroshima. 
Haruto's father is in Oshima then? You may know what her, Haruka's been up to and why she was in Kum Kumarucha. I bet he could tell us every, you everything. So what's next, Kiryu? Let's just, uh, let's just say I have a lot of questions for this guy when I find him, but first, I'll teach him a lesson about being around for the birth of a child. He's going to learn how the real father takes care of his children. I'll leave for Chomantaro with Haruta. I'm not sure that's the best idea. Hmm? Hiroshima is home to Yomei Alliance. The Yomei Alliance. After the Yomei, Omi and Omi and the Tojo, they have easily the third strongest clan in Japan. They never allied before, which keeps them neutral. They're not hostile either. They might sound downright agreeable, but there doesn't mean you want to test them. They don't exactly take kindly to intruders. The Omni Alliance tried, but not even they could push into Yomei third. Yeah, I've always told to stay out of Yoroshima. Nobody ever said why, though. The Yomei Alliance practically operates like a medieval shogunate. Instead of focusing on expansion, Ch Chimen Kurushu fortified his own turf. The Kuru Kurusu. I'm sure the name rings a few bells considering the whole the world you left behind. He was famous gambler after the war, and some would call him a living legend. Right, but I never heard of anyone who actually met him during my Dojo days. It, seeing as Yomei cut off communication from the outside, we almost nothing on him. Even the police haven't heard the name Dekuruka since the 70s. So what you're telling me is that you guys don't know if he's even still alive? If he is, he's pushing 100 by now. Are you likely a guy with one foot in that grave could keep a whole clan in check, right? Well, according to a rumor, Tegruzu actually died years ago. In his place, a captain named Koshimizu has been pulling the string behind the scenes. Long story short, not even the cops can say what's going on in the shadows of Hiroshima. Exactly, and that's why you're all who should steer clear. One wrong move and you could spark a war between Tojo and the Yomei. I'm just a civilian now, I don't have that kind of influence anymore. Yeah, well, that's what I figured you'd say anyway. Dante said, while I'm away from Tokyo, I need you to watch over Haruka. Yeah, I'll make sure she's okay. Akiyama would probably pitch him too. I have to say, Aruka's kids turned pretty damn cute. He probably knows better than anyone that this is no time for to be unconscious. I know Aruka is going to wake up. And when she does, Kiryu, you better have Aruka's father here to see it happen. Yeah. Chapter 3 Foreign Influence. Oh, I'm in a different part of town now. Jinjao Omnishi Orishima Prefecture. Prefecture. Alright. Alright, and I brought the baby with God damn it. This is the town where Haruka's picture was taken. I I should see if there's a local have any leads. Alright guys, I'm going to leave the this part of Yakuza 6, the prologue right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm enjoying it a lot. I It just keeps getting better and better. Uh, a lot of reading still, but that doesn't matter. It's still fun. So, uh, of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. And right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much guys for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.